How's it going guys? Joey Dukat here with CSC. And in today's video, we're gonna go over one of the most requested procedures based on your phone calls and emails. How to install the front end on your small wheel 20 inch FT750. <laughs> In this video, we will mainly focus on the front end of the 20 inch FT750. For a more detailed tutorial, please refer to our 26 inch FT750 unboxing and assembly. Link for the video is in the description below. Some tools are already supplied that you'll need with your FT750, but you will also need grease, side cutters, a Phillips screwdriver, a 10 millimeter wrench, brake parts cleaner, and a clean rag. Box staples are very sharp. To prevent injury, push the sharp ends down into the box with side cutters. Carefully cut the large white zip ties and remove the charger, tools, spare parts, seat, front wheel, and forks. Leave the frame and the handlebars in the box. We are gonna use the box as a makeshift bike stand, but please use caution to keep it stable. Carefully flip the bike over and rest the head tube on the corner of the box. Cut the zip ties that cover the handlebars. The cables and wires should run along the right side of the frame. Grease the section of steer tube that will be inserted into the frame. Bearings are pre-installed in the frame. Insert the fork steer tube into the frame with the fork crown facing forward. Grab the steer tube and handlebars and flip over the bike to the other side of the box with the fork dropouts resting on the corner. Locate the spare parts bag and identify its contents. Tapered split ring, wide base flange spacer, 13 10 millimeter large spacers, small five millimeter spacer, top cap, five millimeter Allen bolt, front wheel skewer. Slide down the plastic split tapered ring down the steer tube followed by the wide flange spacer. Then slide down the 13 10 millimeter spacers. Install the handlebar stem. Install the short five millimeter spacer, top cap and top cap bolt. Tighten the top cap to five Newton meters or until there's no free play in the steering head bearings. Eyeball and roughly align the handlebars and evenly adjust the stem pinch bolts. We'll do a fine adjustments later. Grease and install seat post. Grease and install the front wheel skewer with the tapered end of the springs facing in and quick release on the brake side.
Flip over the bike to the other side of the box and install the front wheel. The brake side is identified by the post mounts. Tighten skewer enough to where firm pressure is needed to close the quick release lever. Clean front rotor with brake parts cleaner and a clean rag. Remove protective wrap around the frame to uncover the headlight and front brake caliper. Route the caliper behind the fore crown and pull slack on the cable so the caliper reaches the post mounts. Remove the retaining O-ring or zip tie that holds the caliper hardware together. Confirm the order of caliper hardware. Bolt, washer, large cup washer, and small cup washer. Carefully install front caliper by sandwiching the brake lever over the rotor and evenly tighten the hardware. Leave the caliper slightly loose for fine adjustment later. Install brake cable into retaining clamp. Using two 10 millimeter wrenches, install the headlight on the fore crown with the pre-installed hardware. Carefully remove your bike from the box. Pump up the front brake lever, which is on the left side, and hold. This will help center the caliper over the rotor. With a five millimeter Allen, evenly tighten the brake caliper bolts and torque to five Newton meters. Complete the assembly by installing the rest of the components. Bottle cage, zip ties, pedals, align and tighten the front end. Install the reflectors. And don't forget to clean the rear brake rotor. Again, details can be found in the 26 inch FT750 video. And remember guys, if you feel you cannot perform any of these steps, please take your bike to a local bike shop for assembly. And after your first ride, don't forget to go over all the hardware over the entire bike. There's always more information available at csc-ebikes.com or just give us a call. And again, guys, thank you for watching and ride safe.